Good morning, folks. The time now is past 3 a.m. I cannot sleep, just as many people cannot sleep on earth today, following the death of Imole Mubad. The way this boy's life was cropped out of him, snitched out of him, snatched out of him. A young upcoming talent, a great talent, upcoming, growing, seeking for hope, hoping to be as great as people like Tupac. This boy was doing great, but what was following him? Love was expensive and hatred is cheap. Nobody wanted to see him grow. Nobody wanted to see him rise above the mist. He started crying. He started weeping. He started saying everything he felt, all his pain, sorrow, and tears. He shared them in all his music, in all his interviews. We listened to his music, but nobody cared. Nobody cared to do something about it. Until we allowed them to murder this little boy, this innocent child. If you look at all my videos and reels, you will see me, a 63-year-old man, crying like a baby. Because I am not heartless, because I have a heart. If he was my son, if he was your son, is this fair? Now, let us x-ray the rationale behind his death. It's all about the music, music industry. Music industry like gangsterism and drugs, prostitution and drugs, it's all one and the same. It's like living in the world of Sodom and Gomorrah, where you have to belong to the devil, where you have to eat with a very short spoon, not long spoon, because you become a devil yourself. But this boy refused to be a devil. This boy refused to be part of their evil machinations. And for that, they chased after him. They hunted after him. They were jealous. Friends were jealous. Relations were jealous. Parents were jealous. Family were jealous. Everybody was jealous. Nobody cared. Nobody listened to him. He predicted his death. He saw it coming. He knew it was coming. Like a great prophet, he said it all. He sang it all. Nobody listened. Nobody loved him, and he said to himself, you will all love me more after I am dead. And now that he's dead, all of us now love him more. I never knew him. I never listened to his music. I never even knew who he was, although I saw some of his videos. I envied him. I admired him as a great upcoming artist. But now that he's dead, the truth has come out. Hate, hurt, abuse. Wicked world, wicked souls, people who want to possess the world. And now, let us look at the situation and surroundings regarding his death. It was exactly the same thing that happened to my mother. She walked into the hospital. They gave him an injection and she never came back. Same thing with Mubad. They all plotted against him. They all planned against him. They took him to a party. And in that party, perhaps they drugged him. They gave him something wrong to drink. He wasn't feeling bad. He walked straight into the hospital. They gave him a strange injection. Injection to relax his, to relax his nerves. Immediately after they gave him that injection, he passed out. They did not wait for him to come on. Immediately, they rushed him from the hospital straight home. Prepare the grave. Got a casket that was meant for babies. Pushed his body inside the casket. Bent his neck. Squeezed his body into the casket. Put him on the ground and buried him. Even dead. While he was still alive. They killed him. They murdered him. The parents, the father, did not even wait for autopsy. They did not even wait for his body to remain in the hospital for autopsy. They did not even wait to think or commensurate over his death. Quickly, they rushed the body to his family. 
His family, whom I believe were part of the entire conspiracy. Heartless father, heartless parents. They got a very tiny coffin, squeezed his body inside, and rushed him into the grave. Where I believe he died inside the grave. He suffered in life. And in death, he suffered in pains. My people, why will I not cry? Why will you not cry? Look at his story. Look at his tears. Look at his pains. Look at everything this young man went through. And look at the way they ended his life in Nigeria. This is abominable. This is unholy, unwholesome art. Please, the world, share this message. Bear with me. Share this message. Share it all over the world. Let, let it stray millions of views. Justice must be served. The world was no, must know about the Molly. Same way they knew Tupac. Same way they knew Biggie. Imole is the greatest. He was the greatest. He remains the greatest in life and in death. The most unfortunate thing for artists is that we artists, while we are alive, nobody appreciates us. Nobody buys our works. Nobody wants us to be okay. They want everything we have. They want it free. They want our talents free. And if you cannot give them free, you must suffer unto death. Now, my paintings will be selling in millions when I'm gone. But today I'm alive. Nobody will buy it for 20 euros, 50 euros, 100 euros. But when I'm dead, they want to sell my paintings for 200 million dollars. They want to make me famous. They want to give me posthumous recognition. I refuse. I refuse. Imole, I refuse. Mobad, I refuse. I will not allow it to happen the same way it happened to you. Thank you. Please, share this message. Let the world see the wickedness of man. Let the world see mass inhumanity to man. Let the world see that the world is a wicked place. Let the world see what man can do to man, what humanity can do to artists, great talents, out of jealousy, overt unkindness, envy, or prejudice. Please share this story. Share this story. Share this story. Justice must be sad. Imole Mubad. I salute. I salute you in life. I salute you in death. Rest on, bro. Rest in peace. Justice must be sad. Thank you.